Hey there, guys. I'm 45 here, bringing you another pickups video. Uh, I keep telling you guys I'm not going to um, keep putting these out, because, uh, but I keep finding cool stuff, you know? So I was like, well, might as well show you what I got. Um, now, my first um, pickup came from eBay. Uh, I was looking on there. Um, they had a lot of Sega Genesis games, about uh, 11 of them, and it was going for 5 bucks bidding. But I looked at the shipping, and it said 12 bucks. So I thought, well, you know, 17 bucks for 11 games isn't bad. There was a couple sports games in it, and uh, I decided that I'll go ahead and put five bucks down. If it goes for 17 bucks, then I'd be happy with that. So and I know, lo and behold, I got it. So I'll show you what I got in there. Not a whole lot of great games, but um, all of them were boxed, so I was pretty happy. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, basically worthless, complete. Who cares? Uh, all right, and. First of the uh, two sports games, Tecmo NBA Basketball. Even though it's Tecmo, it's still yeah uh, complete. I mean, I just love uh, complete uh, Genesis games of these hard cases. And the second of these sports games is this NFL Football '94. Jesus, seems heavy. Oh yeah, <laughs> kind of a bonus. It came with a Sonic Spinball manual. Have Sonic Spinball, but I do not have the manual. So, I got that. The manual and stuff. Also, I got. This came with some. Weird. Sega manual. Oh, it's a, it's a Sega CD manual. Just noticed that. Oh, well, that's cool. Don't have a Sega CD. Wish I did, but. <sighs> things are expensive. Alright, well, there's that. Now, next. Got. Konami game, Animaniacs, not complete, this is missing the manual, and the next is a EA game, F-22 Interceptor, there's a couple of games in this series that I have in here, it is complete, the box is a little messed up, it does come with the manual and the game, let me show you guys that, there. Alright, and close that back up. And next, uh, a rated M game for the Sega Genesis Caesar's Palace. Don't, don't know why I got an M rating. I guess, sure, kids aren't supposed to be gambling, but it doesn't mean this game should be rated M. What the heck? You're playing video poker, blackjack, slot machines, roulette craps, kino, horse racing, and scratchers. I've been playing scratchers since I was a little kid. I always used to, mom used to let me scratch them off and stuff. Uh, next up, one I already have is uh, Jungle Book. But I hadn't got it anyway, it's complete. I'm not sure if my one up here is complete. The case is in a better shape, a little better shape. Uh, yeah, but it has this like, little printed manual, so I might go ahead and keep that one, it's a little better. Next is another one I already have, but it's in a lot better shape. Is a Desert Strike uh, complete manual. The one I have is really beat up. Uh, manual is really destroyed. Right there, if you can see that. Next one, another EA game. Another one that are uh, flying games, I guess. LHX Attack Chopper. Uh, it's complete. That. There you go. Yeah, it looks like just like a helicopter, uh, first person point of view. Uh, it's first of EA's first person shooters, yeah, sure. Next is one I already had. I had a game, but didn't have the box. Uh, Mortal Kombat. The box is a little bit uh, chewed up, looks like. But I could always swap it out for another one. It is complete. Classic uh, Mortal Kombat game. Next is the one that I was really looking at whenever I, when it caught my eye. It's a Primal Rage. That was kind of cool to have. It's in the uh, class, uh, the cardboard of one, not the hard one. There we go. And it does have the manual with it. And I get, and I save four dollars at Six Flags with this coupon inside. I wonder if I can still redeem that. I might go to Six Flags. Be cool. Okay, now uh, next is some uh, stuff I got at the uh, Goodwill. Um, something I don't usually buy is uh, bat games, but I saw some there, some boxed ones. Not old, like a early 2000s one, but I got a, for a dollar, 
Baldur's Gate throwing a ball or Bahal or probably pissing someone off not pronouncing that right, but it's like an MMO RPG kind of. So you can kind of see that a little bit. We need to get the lighting situation down here a lot better. It's just not quite uh, perfect around here. Now the one was well, first I'll show you the other one here. It's the expansion pack for the first one, Baldur's Gate 2, throwing a ball. Uh, yeah, it's an expansion for the other one. In the box, maybe this is made by Bioware, uh, Black Isle Studios, Advanced Dun Dun Dungeons and Dragons. Just kind of cool. All right, and last is uh, Neverwinter Nights: Shadows of Undren Tide. Expansion pack for the re regular one. I don't have the regular one, but uh, it's a sealed game, so made, made by Atari, I guess, or licensed by Atari and developed by BioWare. So, yeah, Atari games, newer ones. Now, uh, a couple other games I got at uh, Goodwill for these ones would have been two fifty or five dollars or half off. Uh, Primal. Not one hundred percent sure what this game even is. Battle to save the outside world starts within as Jen Tate, a modern day girl, faces the demons of an immortal realm and discovers her own supernatural origin. Alright. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. I'll take it. Kind of cool. Okay, and I got Ghost in the Shell, standalone complex, not complete. Uh, Primal was complete, in, actually, in really good shape, actually. There you go. It's really good shape. Um, yeah, this is a Bandai game. Um, uh, it's in a world without borders. Terrorism knows no limit. Which is, I don't know if it's like an open world game. Then it says a world uh, without without borders or what. But yeah, it looked cool. Uh, looked kind of anime stylish, I guess. So I picked it up. Um, okay, uh, next, uh, game exchange stuff. Uh, went up there the other day, was looking around, found a couple of decent deals. Like, sometimes, I went up there, they had, uh, they had Zelda Wind Waker for 50 bucks. And other times, like, sometimes they have terrible deals like that. Sometimes they have good deals like this. I got Hexen in the, uh, box. It does not have the insert, but it does have the... Game and the manual. The manual's kind of beat up, but it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's a. Oh, I'll put that back in there later. Um, it's like a four-player kind of like a because I think this was also made by Doom because I was like at the same exchange. I was looking at Sega Saturn games, and they had a uh, the same game Hexen, but it was developed by ID. So, it looks, if you can, I don't know if I can get you guys to see this right, it looks kind of like a first person shooter, but with uh, more of like a RPG-ish, uh, kind of using axes and handheld weapons, um, and it does have four player death matches, which is like a very uh, signature of id software. Now next I got some uh, uh, stuff at, oh wait, one last thing here, for the Atari, I got this at Game Exchange for a dollar. I mean, they, they price basically all their Atari games for a dollar unless they're really rare. I got Sword Quest Earthbound. If I remember, if my history, if I know my history of Atari, I think this game ha came with a, uh, a challenge to f like solve a quest or something along with the game. If you won it, you won some golden holy grail or something. But I saw it there for a dollar, so I thought, what the heck, I'll pick it up. Alright, now next, I got some pawn shop stuff. Uh, kind of cool stuff, uh, Nintendo stuff. Uh, Start out with a 64. I got Diddy Kong Racing, five bucks. Banjo Kazooie, which I don't have. I don't have the. I don't have Diddy Kong either. Um, Mario Kart 64. I have one in better shape, so I'll be selling this one. And uh, Super Mario 64, which I already have in better shape, so I'll be selling this one. All right, and. Uh, other Nintendo thing I bought there was I got Super Mario All-Stars. Someone wrote their 
Angelique. So shout out to Angelique. Wrote her name on the front of it. So uh, yeah, I mean it's a really cool. Uh, it's got Super Mario One, Two, and Three, and the Lost Levels. Uh, for five bucks, it's kind of beat up, but maybe I can fix that. I can, I, I know I can get this name off with rubbing alcohol on the scratch pad. Um, so that's all I got from the pawn shop. Five bucks a piece. There, I'll hopefully make some of my money back with uh, Mario Kart and. Uh, Super Mario 64. Now, lastly, one thing I got at the game exchange, I got a. Finally, got a. I had a cable for my Sega Saturn. Now, I have not. Sh I got this a while back, but I haven't shown it to you because I bought it for parts not working off of eBay. I bought it for like 15 bucks, I think. So, uh, I ended up uh, taking it apart, and I got it. It didn't come with any cables. I thought that the Sega Genesis cables, like the second generation Sega Genesis would work with that, but it didn't, so I had to find one somewhere, and uh, I put it in, I tried it out, and it, it, it works! Yeah! Now, the next thing I need to do is get a controller for it, and then I can actually, uh, um, so here, here's the Sega Saturn. Uh, I got it for 15 bucks off eBay, that was with shipping, so it wasn't bad. If I can get it to, if, if it does fully work, like read games and everything. I'd be, uh, really happy with that. So, um, yeah, that's about all I got. So, uh, um, it appears, yeah, if you guys want to let me know what you think of this setup compared to my other one. I do like having all these games behind me, showing what I got, what I have, and stuff. Um, I did like the other set setup, because I could put on my Atari, which is, like, right here. I could put my Atari on and show, like, an Atari game while I was playing in the background while I was, uh, doing a video. So, uh, just let me know what you guys like. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my other videos.